There are many reasons why a person might choose not to do this line of work, but she went ahead and found her own reason why to do it. Hello everyone, I am Danielle Evans of Serene Source. It was July 7th in Daytona Beach, Florida. Brianna Daniels, now a professional NASCAR pit crew member, is a tire changer at her first NASCAR Cup Series race the 60th annual Coke Zero Sugar 400. She's just 24 years old and within two years, she's already ascended to the top level of NASCAR. In that moment, there was one person on her mind, her mother, who died when she and her twin brother, Rian, were 14. She lost her mother to breast cancer when she was in ninth grade. Brianna keeps her close by wearing her mother's two tennis bracelets on her left arm, removing them only for pit practice. Brianna says, She never missed any of my games. I didn't always see her face, but I always heard her voice. Left arm behind your back. Ready, stretch, one. In the beginning, all eyes were on me. You know, being in my position, it's not easy at all. My mom is a, she's the reason why I go so hard and that's where a lot of my motivation comes from. You know, just seeing her battle with uh, breast cancer and just, sorry. Um, just seeing her battle with breast cancer most of her life, she just taught me to be strong as a person. You know, seeing her go through something like that and still she took us to basketball games, football games. She was there cheering us on. <laughs> she was Wonder Woman, Superwoman, you know? So like whenever I feel like giving up in anything in life, like I always think about her. That plays a huge part in me being able to deal with the stuff that I've been dealing with, you know? Brianna's played basketball since four years old and played in high school, as well as college at Norfolk State, where she walked on to a Division I program and earned a full ride scholarship. At this point, she was in her final season. Brianna recalls, it was the end of the basketball season. This lady who was the announcer at our basketball game, she came up to me and was like, hey, Brianna, you know the NASCAR pit crew is gonna be at our school on Wednesday. I think you should try out. And as I'm sitting there eating my sandwich, literally, I looked at her like, you're telling me this why, NASCAR? After watching a video about what a pit crew does, Brianna went to the tryouts. Brianna remembers, I was like, let me just try something new, see where it takes me. I even beat some of the boys I went against. I know I did good. Her pit crew coach, Phil Horton, whom had also worked for the NBA's Milwaukee Bucks as the strength and conditioning coach, knows how and why athletes make great pit crew members. He immediately knew she had the talent to be a great tire changer. Horton eventually selected Brianna and 19 others to attend the National NASCAR Drive for Diversity Pit Crew Combine in Charlotte, North Carolina. I ended up placing in the top 10 in order to come back and train to be a professional. Brianna said. Her job was now to be the most efficient tire changer she could be. In just seconds, she removes the lug nuts, removes the 65 to 75 pound tire, and secures the lug nuts on the new tire as fast as possible. Sometimes even carries the 65 pound tires herself over the wall and back when she doesn't have a tire carrier which is customary for a NASCAR pit crew to have. Before she could hit a NASCAR track, she trained hard at Rev Racing in Concord, then at Excalibur Pit School in Mooresville, North Carolina. We train year-round because you have to have that strength. This isn't just about car mechanics, you have to be an athlete. You know, we're really in charge of hooking that driver up and making sure he's good to go. Our pit stop has to be on point. Everybody has to come together and work as one team to send our driver off and have him in good hands. In NASCAR racing, it is very important 
that pit stops be lightning fast, and because of that, it is essential that pit crew members are acutely aware of when their car is about to take off so they can get out of the way, and to stay close to their car so they can avoid other cars coming through the pit stop, all while changing the tires, jacking the car up, making quick repairs, and gassing the tank. Now you might be asking why the pit crew and Brianna put themselves through all this pressure and danger to be this fast. Coach Mike Lepp of the Joe Gibbs Racing Pit Crew gives a pretty awesome explanation. The pit crew for number 18, Kyle Busch, is one of the most dominant pit crews in all of NASCAR. Mike Lepp, the coach of that pit crew, says, quote, when we're racing people off pit road, gaining time on pit road, it's usually a thousand to a tenth of a second. That makes the difference between one or two spots on pit road. If we can gain two or three spots on pit road, a lot of the time it's easier than passing people on the track. And a lot of times it's a tenth to a thousand of a second. So there's about 73 unique athletic movements involved in a pit stop. Every one of them add up to hopefully what is what we call a sub-13 second pit stop. A four tire stop that's less than 13 seconds usually results in gaining spots on pit road. Unquote. So let me just say that anyone that time that signs up for this line of work is a very very brave individual things can go wrong preparation beforehand to prevent issues is imperative but when things do happen anyone that can keep cool and respond appropriately and quickly is the stuff the best NASCAR crew members are made of Brianna with more than two years put into the sport at this point, who's already ascended to the highest level of NASCAR, has the right stuff. Brianna says, I'm just trying to welcome all people of different ethnicities and races to the sport. She says, it's like God called me to do this. He's like, Brianna, you need to do NASCAR. You need to make history. You need to change the game up a little bit. Brianna reflects on her mom and says, today she'd say, baby girl, I'm so proud of you.